two and a half miles from Bradley Airport in Connecticut, American Airlines Flight 1572 has struck something while descending to the runway. The pilots must act quickly to avoid crashing. Go, go around, go around. They pull the nose up in an attempt to recover. Flaps 15, positive rate, gear up. Gear up. The crew immediately began a go around procedure. They raised the gear, raised the flaps, crammed the engines forward. And immediately after that, things went downhill very quickly. Left motors failed. Seconds after the pilots commence the go around, the plane's left engine loses power. That's the last thing you need to have happen is a power failure on one of the engines. There's the runway straight ahead. OK. Tell them we're going down. Tell them emergency. OK, tower, a call for emergency equipment. We are going down on the runway. Looks like we got an emergency on 1572. Send the trucks. Emergency vehicles have been dispatched. As the pilots prepare for an emergency landing, the situation worsens. The right engine also fails, turning the MD-83 into a 60-ton glider. They realized they had the second power failure, which made double trouble. Without its engines, the plane has drifted further off course. Captain Lee tries to line it back up with a runway. You've got it, dude. You're going to make it. But they may not have enough lift to reach it. A stall is an aerodynamic effect. It's when the wings lose lift and the airplane loses directional control. The only way to fly out of a stall is max power, which they did not have. Hold on, guy. Hold, Hold it down, buddy. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it down. Hold it. Down. Hold it. God bless you. You made it. It was a miracle that the first officer saw the runway and the crew reacted so quickly. It was a very good reaction and uh, certainly saved a lot of people's lives. 